Sarah Hochul is using the New York State budget in her efforts to deal with unlicensed cannabis stores. She unveiled new initiatives today that she says will make it easier to shut them down. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer explains. Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams holding up a padlock. The padlock city officials will soon be able to use to help close down the illegal cannabis stores that have popped up all over the state and the five boroughs. My friends, the insanity stops right now. Illegal cannabis shop, this is your warning. You will be locked out if you attempt to continue uh, to sell illegal items. The governor and state lawmakers have been under intense pressure to take steps to close the illegal stores that sprang up once the state made marijuana sales legal. The popularity of the illegal stores compounded by two things, the rollout of the state cannabis program, which was slow to issue licenses, and the fact that products in the illegal stores are often cheaper because they don't pay state sales tax. They got a head start. There's a lot of them out there. Meanwhile, we're pushing and pushing and pushing to get more legal licenses in the pipeline, approved, and get more legal shops open. At last count, there were about 2,000 illegal stores in New York City, about 100 legal ones. We have a lot of catch up to do. And the illegal shops will not disappear overnight. But New Yorkers eventually will see a change in their communities. Manhattan City Councilwoman Gail Brewer mounted an intense campaign to get the illegal shops in her district closed. She was finding high school students in these shops and then going to high school and vaping. And it's outrageous. They're they pick locations within feet of a high school. In addition to authorizing officials to padlock stores, the new law makes it a misdemeanor crime to damage or remove a padlock. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And the law allows the state as well to fine landlords up to $50,000 for renting their property to the illegal shops.